why is it that we have such compunctions about, um, be sh about people's faith and devoutness, whereas we're perfectly willing to be uh, rude and argumentative and difficult with people's political beliefs? What is it about the belief in the sacred which is mm. sacred? I don't know, and I've been wondering that a good deal, because there are times when I think it would be much better if we were a lot franker and ruder about religious belief. If we look around the world today, I would say that by far more danger, more harm comes from religious belief on every side than help. Yes, religions, at their best, provide succor and meaning and comfort to people who are really hard-pressed. And I think that's what we don't want to deny to the people. Yes, I mean, I don't. Uh, but nevertheless, I'm often yes. uh, rebuked for mm. being bloody rude about people's religious beliefs. I have very few compunctions about getting into arguments, mm. um, in, often in public places, about religion. And I will then go away, and my wife says, you really mustn't talk like that to things that people hold sacred. Yeah. And yet, um, she would be much less embarrassed if I was to have a stand-up row um, about, uh, about Soviet communism and about the atrocities committed by Stalin. I, myself, do not think that truth is sufficient justification for saying something. And I think we all know that. We don't tell fat people they're fat. We don't tell ugly people they're ugly. We don't, we don't, there's lots of things every day we could go around saying things to people's faces that would be perfectly true and we could prove them and it would just be really mischievous. It would just, there's things about me that I'm glad I don't know, and I hope other people don't know. I certainly want, would want people going around spreading this around and mm. things about you. There's lots of facts that we're just as well off not knowing. That being so, any area of inquiry, especially something like philosophy, which gets so close to things that matter so much to people, I think we have to think seriously about what the, if you like, the environmental impact of putting a view out there is. It's possible that some real mischief, some real harm might come from presenting a position which is in itself perfectly true. But let's look at the boundaries of this. Mm. Um, if somebody's a member of a cult, as we say, we have no trouble being being rude with them, with laughing at the Raelians or those, those people that got interested in the comet, uh, uh, various uh, uh, doomsday prophesiers when the prophecies don't come true. Um, uh, <laughs> we laugh at those people, and the world laughs with us at them. So we have a line where we consider some religious belief to be just too kooky to take seriously, and, and we are rude with impunity. But in talking because, about those. But is it because they're minority opinions? I think so. I think that's all it is. But I think this is just, I think this is just political. If, if, uh, if Christianity were uh, uh, a small sect in the world, I think it wouldn't receive the respect. But look at all the churches that the Christians have built. Look at all the great arts. Look at all the great music. Um, it's hard to be rude to a religion which has created so much great culture. I've had this friendly disagreement with Richard Dawkins over just this issue. And I say, Richard, I, of course, completely agree with you, but I don't think you want to hurt people's feelings. Why, why do you want to hurt people's, why do you want? And for a long time, I thought he didn't have a good reply to that. And more recently, I've been thinking, well, maybe I should hurt a few more people's feelings. Maybe, maybe we should turn the tide a bit on this. Maybe we should well, get out in front of this. Yeah. And, and yes, we'll take some awful lumps because we'll be the, the, the rude, evil ones. Mm -hmm. But let's, let's see if we can just move the barrier a little bit. But maybe we should 
get out there with Richard and 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 uh, and be more be more aggressive, just just to open up the space behind us. I mean, I think this is true not just in this area. I think in religion. I think that what America really needs right now is some outspoken, bold, serious liberals. Yes, they can't be elected, but let them get out there and make a big noise, so that so that to move the center. To move the effective center. And in, particularly in the United States, where in fact it is very closely tied up with Christian belief. Uh, certainly is. Uh, I mean, it's true that our own prime minister I, I, is a, a very pious Christian. But I don't think one can detect, as one can in Bush and one can in the, in the, uh, in the right wing of the Republican Party here, um, a, a constitutive relationship between uh, right-wing politics and uh, and born-again Christianity. Oh yes, they have the strange overconfidence of the of the reli religious zealot. They're sure that the world is what their religion says it is. There's the good guys and the bad guys, and we're the good guys, and we will smite the bad guys. Now, uh, uh, granted, your increasing sense of the importance of being explicit and outright and forthright yeah. about this. Here you are, you've written some important influential books on various aspects of philosophy and various aspects of science in which philosophy has interests. It's hard to imagine an area in which philosophy would have more interests than religion. What would you feel about writing a book which did in fact smite religion with the same energy that religion itself would like to smite people like us? Oh, I'd love to write that book, uh, if I could. But of course, what one fears is what comes afterwards. And just how much disarray, how right are the people who think that we need religion to preserve whatever veneer of civilization and good feeling we have. I think religion, for many people, is sort of, you know, moral Viagra. They think some people need help being moral and don't deny it to them. Well, if that's true, if religion does help people lead moral lives, then one should take very seriously the proposition that we're just going to eliminate it and let the devil take the hindmost. Uh, because the hindmost may be a great many people and we, may, we might, might have the chaos that these people fear. And a lot of people, many, many people, they want their life to have a meaning. And where is it going to come from? Yes, but there must be something better than religion. But I, I, I you know. yes, there. We certainly hope there is. What's it going to be? Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 <laughs>